Hi everyone. Welcome to the Preform 3.41.0 feature rundown. Today we're going to talk about five new exciting features that are going to make Preform a one-stop shop for going from a digital part all the way through to a printing physical part. The model hauling feature is great for hollowing out parts to save material, but also it's great for, for large parts so that you can reduce the amount of support structures needed and the overall mass on the build platform. So, as you'll see with these two steering wheels, both are solid, and we're going to hollow the one that's called hollow, so the right one. Let's select that one, go to hollow. We're going to use a two millimeter wall thickness, and I'm going to reduce the in interior surface detail because I don't need it to be picture perfect. So, after hollowing, you'll see the right one is hollow, the left one is still solid. But as I mentioned, uh, you'll see that there's less material use for these, these hollowed parts. So let's look at that. We'll go into model properties. You'll see the solid one is about 400 milliliters, whereas the hollow one is about 125 milliliters. That's a 70% reduction in your, your material usage. That's huge. Obviously, that's going to change depending on the wall thickness, the geometry, but overall, you're going to see a significant material reduction in most parts when you use the hollowing feature. So the drill tool makes it possible to relieve cups. So cups are this pesky yellow um, shading that we see here. It's within a part, so once you create a hollow model, you're always gonna get a cup, pretty much always, and it will, um, that'll cause printing issues. So we can relieve those cups using the drill tool. Open up the drill tool, select your part, and add a drain hole right there. So you'll generally your drain holes will be at the bottom of your cup, bottom being closest to the build platform. We'll need another one right back here. So you'll see I added those two. And once I click apply, and it applies, you'll see that the yellow shading goes away. Now, you'll see that the two look identical, but one is a lot lighter than the other. One has a lot less material. So I want to be able to see that from a distance without having to touch the parts during post-processing. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the part labeling tool. So part labeling over here, uh, we're going to use that and we're going to select this part. And you'll see that I added a, a label right there. And you can, it'll immediately use the model name for your label, and you can always change that up here. But you can also rotate, and you can just use your snap, uh, snapping, uh, the snapping feature as well. Now let's use this one. So we're going to move over here. You'll see that if you just hover over the part with the labeling tool open, it'll show you a preview, uh, which will also show you where parts of the label will show and where they won't. Red means they won't show, so they won't actually be applied to the model. So this one's all blue. So let's click and apply and we'll apply all the edits and see what that looks like. Great, so you'll see solid on this one, hollow on this one, so be very clear during post-processing which one is which. We added texturing to our website a while ago in a meshy tool. People really liked it. Uh, it gives you the ability to add texture to your parts, get you a certain uh, production level finish that you're looking for. Um, you'll often see this in other technologies like injection molding and CNC. So, Let's go in and we'll texture this right model. And you'll see that we have some preset textures, uh, but you can also add your own texture map. Uh, so we're gonna, for right now, we're just gonna use, let's use this one, this texture map. And you'll see that once textured, um, it has that, that finish, that little rougher finish that looks um, more production, kind of something you would, you would see on the shelf. Park cages are a new SLS feature. So park cages make it so that you can wrap a cage around small and fragile parts to make it easier to post-process. This cage will go through your entire sifting and blasting routine, and you'll break it out using pliers or Dremel or your hands on the other side. Anyone who's post-processed small parts knows that they can be a pain in the butt to post-process, so this feature should really help in those cases, those cases where you have smaller, fragile parts. And what we're gonna do to make that easier is we're going to wrap these small parts in a cage. So we'll select all the parts, open up the cage feature over here, 
we'll rename the cage uh, wheels in this case. Um, and I'm gonna leave these all, but you can experiment kind of with your packing settings and your model spacing and things like that. But uh, we'll cage it. You'll immediately see that it packs them, packs all the wheels, puts the name on the cage and puts a cage around it. Um, this cage can then be, just like this one, can be used through your entire post processing. So it can go into the sift, you can kind of move it around, shake it and get all the powder out and then you can throw it in your blast as well. Once you're done blasting, you can use pliers, a Dremel or your hands to open up the cage and take the parts out uh, to be kind of moved through your QC processes and your shipping processes. We're really excited about this feature set. Uh, it should improve your workflows and kind of provide you with the speed ups you need to make your, your workflows and businesses more efficient. As always, use this feedback button to give us more feedback, feedback on the tools that we're putting out now and feedback on the tools that you want in the future. Looking forward to seeing what you guys do with these and um, hearing your feedback going forward. Thank you.